what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Keisha if you guys are new here as you can see from the title we are doing my everything shower routine make sure you're subscribed for similar videos and check out my Instagram for lifestyle and fitness related content so I'm first gonna start off by removing my false lashes Next, I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Cleansing Balm to break up and remove the makeup that I have on my face. And we're just gonna work this product into our skin in circular motion. This balm is super gentle and it works pretty well on its own, but I am gonna go in with the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. And this is just gonna be a double cleansing step for removing any leftover product on the skin. And then just patting my face dry, making sure not to rub the skin. So I'm starting off with the Olaplex Number no. Zero Intensive Bond Building Hair Treatment and focusing this one on the roots and working my way down. This treatment is going to help repair, strengthen, and protect our hair. And I'm going to let this set in for about 10 minutes and then I'll go ahead and use some tweezers and an eyebrow spoolie to pluck my eyebrows. And unfortunately my camera didn't want to focus properly so I'm so sorry about that. I still need to get used to the functions with this camera. And then I'm going to go in with the Great Skin Serum by Merit Beauty. And I'm going to apply that all over the face. Next, I'm going to go in with a facial razor to shave my face. I like using this tool because it helps with exfoliating, getting rid of any dry skin. It also helps create an even base for when you apply makeup, which is what I love the most about it. And you guys don't need to worry about your hair growing back thicker. I know I get a lot of comments about that and to be honest, it literally looks the same as it was before. It might just be an illusion, I don't know, but I never had that problem and I know a lot of people who shave their face and they don't have that problem either, so. Then I'm going to go ahead and remove my earrings and get ready to take my shower. I love getting the water nice and hot. It will help with muscle tension and improve blood circulation and it just feels super relaxing. First thing I usually like to start off with in the shower is a facial cleanser and I've been recently trying out the Penoxyl 4% cleanser and I find it's gentle enough for my sensitive skin. Now I'm going to go in with the Maui Hibiscus Shampoo. This is going to add some hydration to our hair and I just love the way this one lathered onto my scalp. It was just so easy to work with and it smelled so good. And I like to go in with the same brand conditioner. It might be an OCD thing, I don't know. So again, I'm using the Maui Hibiscus Conditioner and I'm focusing this one on the ends. And using a wide tooth comb, I'm just gonna brush everything out. And 
then I'm going to clip it up, let it set for a bit while we do the rest of our body. Then I'm going to go in with the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish and this is with pomegranate and chia butter and it smells so good. It literally has these very tiny scrubbing speckles that just add the nicest exfoliation to the skin without being irritating. And I'm going to use it with this exfoliating cloth I found at one of the drugstores. And I'm just going to basically scrub all over the body, you know, just getting in every crevice. Like, literally, you guys, my skin felt so soft after this. And just before we get into shaving, I want to go in with this foot filer. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove any calluses or any unwanted dead skin. I didn't realize how much I needed this until I finished and looked at my feet. They were literally so perfect after this. I'm not even joking. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with the EOS shaving cream. And this shaving cream is so moisturizing. It's literally like using a conditioner while you shave. So it's way easier to glide. For body wash, I'm going in with the Shea Butter and Honey Olay body wash and this is just going to add a good amount of hydration. It leaves my skin feeling supple and soft and I really really like the smell of this one. do go in with some feminine wash this is the organics intimate wash and this one is also super gentle honestly it doesn't really have a strong smell to it I keep it pretty simple down there so I don't really do too much and then just rinsing off the conditioner and that is pretty much the shower portion so I'm gonna go ahead and pat my body dry So just quickly brushing my hair out, I'm going to go ahead and apply some body lotion. I usually like to add body oil, but I finished it and I forgot to restock on it. So I'm going to go in with this Cocoa Butter Body Lotion by Nivea, and this is going to provide that deep moisture. And I like to apply that everywhere, including the feet. So just making sure we're nice and moisturized. And then I'm going to apply the Dove Coconut Deodorant. And then I decided to do a face treatment and I don't always do one. It just depends on how my skin is doing. So I'm going to go in with the Ordinary Peeling Solution. And this one can be pretty intense so it will help fight any visible blemishes or improve the look of the skin texture and radiance. And you don't really want to exceed this one over 10 minutes. I mean, I don't. I have really sensitive skin, so 10 minutes is the perfect amount of time for this. And then after I'm done removing that, I'm going to go in with the niacinamide and hyaluronic acid serums, and I like to apply both of them all over the face. Both of these will help provide moisture and even out the skin and the appearance of pores, etc, etc. There's a lot of benefits with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. And then for some facial moisturizer, I'm going to go in with the Origins Overnight Hydrating Mask. It's called the Drink Up Intensive Mask. And then I'm finishing off with some EOS Lip Balm. And that is our skincare. Now for hair, I like to go in with the Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Oil. This will help to eliminate any frizz and protect from any heat damage. And I'm just going to focus that on the ends. 
and I'm gonna go in with the Timo Air Hype hair dryer. Let me just show you guys up close what this looks like. It's nice and small, compact, lightweight. It has an easy to read digital display and control buttons. There's an adjustable diffuser and a comb attachment. I'm just gonna use this attachment and I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. This blow dryer is so quick, you guys. It blow dries my hair under 10 minutes. And I'm gonna go in with a round brush and just start smoothing out the ends a little. I like doing this just to even out and make everything kind of like blend in nicely with my layers. As you guys can see, there is no frizzing. I just love the way this blow dryer works. I don't know if I mentioned, but it has four different temperature levels and three different pressure levels, which I don't think a lot of blow dryers have three different pressure levels. And I'll just finish off with some cold air. This is gonna help with a smooth and shiny finish and it'll help our style stay in place. This left my hair looking so healthy and soft and sleek. Also, everything will be linked down below if you guys are interested. But that is my shower routine, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought about today's video. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.